Hey guys, okay, so I'm on a roll and I'm gonna do another one since Nico is napping. And I wanted to do a quick pick monkey tutorial for you. I know the first time I played with it, it was really frustrating and it took me a little while, but it seriously is really simple. It just takes a little bit of practice. So let me share my screen with you so that you know what I am talking about. Okay, so first it is www.pickmonkey.com. Simple as that. So when you go there, you have these four options up at the top. And the three that I use the most are edit, design, and collage. When I'm doing team ones where I wanna do a bunch of pictures together, I do a collage. Nine out of 10 times, I'm gonna do design. And if you hover over it, you have some options. You can do this shape, you can do your Facebook cover, or you can do these sizes. And then you can also do a custom size one. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna choose a square since it's super simple. And you get your blank square. So the first thing you get to do is you get to choose what color canvas you want. If you wanna choose one, great. If you don't, no big deal. So let's say you like that color, you hit apply. Then, these are all of your options on the side. So let's just say we'll go to one of the themes and let's go to celebrate. So you have some effects options, overlay options, and then you have textures, text, just some different um, examples. So let's do the party bunting. And so you click on the one you want. You stretch it to the size that you want. And then you can choose to change the colors in this little box over here. So let's just say we wanna switch out the orange for a shade of yellow. And let's make that pink just a little bit brighter. There we go, okay, so there's that. Well, let's say that you want to do this and have another one facing the other way. So you could right click and then duplicate overlay. So I wanna bring this down here and let's say I just flip it around so it's going the other way. Whoops, going a little crazy. Sometimes it's hard with my finger pad on my Mac. Um, I'll just get it lined up straight and drag it down. And there you go. So that's something super simple. So let's say you wanted to add some text. You can go to the T and add text and there are tons of options. So let's just say we did, um, let's see. Oh, I don't even know what I'm thinking. Let's do coach of the month. And let's say I wanted that text and I wanted to make it bigger. You can, you have a couple options. You can make it bigger simply from just dragging it or you can go over here and change the number. So let's just say, you know, I want it 200. And I'm gonna take this up here and I want it to be white coach of the month. So you could even get um, fun and you know, do the letters in each of the little things. Um, but for the sake of time and the ease of this, I'm just gonna do that. So let's just say I wanted to add some things that they already have. So here are some arrows you can choose. Um, there's stars, there's hearts, all kinds of different things, different banners. This is one that I use a lot. Um, let's just say we chose to do that here and I'm gonna send it to the back right click send to the back that way that pops up to the front um, this is kind of I mean there's guys there's like endless things you can do with this um, sometimes I want to make it all one color so I'm just gonna stretch a little bit more and then let's say we take this over top see that doesn't really look good it looks kind of funky but let's just say we did that and Oh, let's just duplicate this too, bring it down here, and then send it to the back so that the other one comes up forward. Okay, so coach of the month, and let's say I wanted to add a picture of one of the coaches on our team. So I would do your own, 
And then I'm going to go to all the different photos. Oh my gosh, this woman has been killing it. Mita. So let's just say that it's Mita. And I'm going to put her here. And look at that beautiful face. Um, she's going to laugh when she sees this. So let's say, you know, now that I did black on that, I don't really like that it is, um, that it's white. So, okay, coach of the month. And then let's say I wanted to do her name and I want to do it in a different text. All right. So I can do that in a different text and bring that down here. I actually don't really like exactly what this looks like, but I'm just giving you like a quick tutorial. So that's an option. That's something super easy to do. Um, if you wanted to change it a little bit or do something else, um, you, know, you can still continue to over here and play with all of these things. I think I'm gonna change this because I don't like how this looks with too many colors. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and change them both to white. All right. Oh my goodness, this is funny. This is just a tutorial, but I'm just showing you that it's super easy to change and go to a different option. Okay, that's a little bit more cohesive to me. The other colors were just throwing it off. Okay, so let's just say you wanted it, then you would save it to your computer. You would title it Coach of the Month and save it. And however you wanna do that, and then it's there. So all you have to do is go find it. So let me do one that's really, I do a lot. And I do um, for a cover photo. I highly recommend every new coach changing their cover photo to something that looks professional. Don't forget that your Facebook is your brand. So choose Facebook cover. It's already sized perfectly, so you don't have to worry about that. And I think for me, what I've a lot, I've been doing a lot is, you know, like if you look at mine now, it's all of my pictures of myself. And then I did like a glossy, um, hazy kind of an overlay. And then I just put my name in the middle. But let's just say you want to leave it white. It looks clean. And you want to do a banner. Maybe this one. that maybe your favorite quote maybe your name um whatever there's so many things you could do so i always kind of like that half part and then text t i'm gonna do my name heather shriver burns and i just stretch it out to get it as big as I want it. Now don't forget, it's in black because that's what the text is, so you could change it to anything over here. Green, yellow, pink, white, orange, whatever. So I'm gonna do black and white, which is always one of my favorites. And then let's say I wanted to drag in a picture of myself. Let me show you another thing that a lot of people wanna know how to do. So let's choose picture. And then I just got recent pictures done and I, Let's say that I want to cut out um, so I just want my body and I don't want um, the rest of that. So my recommendation is get the picture as big as you can get it. And then you're gonna go over here to this. Um, this is like your little edit tab and you're gonna choose eraser. And then you're gonna take it to the biggest eraser you can get. And then you want the eraser hardness. You probably want it kind of soft so that it doesn't completely drown it out. And then you just go around the image and erase the sides or the pieces that you don't want. And you can make this smaller. I've just learned that the bigger it is and then doing not so harsh of, um, the edges, it, it kind of gets it a little bit tighter. Okay, and then if you mess up, just control Z or command Z for you Mac users, um, and it will erase what you did. So it is forgiving, it lets you go back. You can also choose these little um, arrows up here as well. So let's see. So what happens though when you pull the picture up a little bit? Um, you just gotta make sure like down here, you know, you, you just have to move the picture around so that you can go back and do the rest of this if you're going to have your picture in a place that 
uses a lot more. So I'm gonna go back and then just get touch up the side now that I move the picture up a little bit. So that is how you get a cutout of a person. Okay, so that's it. And then there you go. So that's just a quick example of how to do a online tutorial of Pick Monkey. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. But I hope that helps. There's so much to do here. It really just takes playing around. Um, the flourishes are, well, not the leaves, the flourishes are pretty fun too. So again, it just takes playing around, figuring out what you like and what works best for your style and doing that. Oh, this could be fun. Um, well, I guess not so much because the one lines <laughs> blue or out. So anyways, there, there's all kinds I mean, you can get super creative. You can do all kinds of stuff. And that is your tutorial for the day. I hope that helps. I hope you have fun. Again, I highly recommend changing your Facebook um, cover photo to be something that looks somewhat professional. Um, you want it to be eye-catching, you know? And I also highly recommend your Facebook photo of you, the one single one. It should be of you and your brand, not of your baby. Now, if your baby's in it, I think that's okay, but they do say that it's best to be of you. Every once in a while I put Nico and I, or I will put George and I, but for the most part, I keep it me because that truly is my brand. And they're gonna see my beautiful baby and my beautiful husband and everything else. So I do have them in my cover photo, um, but not in my actual photo. So I hope that helps guys. Have fun with Pick Monkey, and I will chat with you all later.